As a noob in the zone, I've seen countless videos and live streams surrounding the stalker scene. Seeing so many jumping into the world of survival ran my mind and curiosity wild, so I decided to say, hey, how hard can this actually be, and what kind of skill will I need to succeed in the zone? Well, I was about to find out, over time, the hard way. Out from scouring the swamps, escorting the colleges, picking up missions, and trying to I guess wing it. I was admiring the atmosphere, the rain, the weather. And I ended up speaking to a fanatic to go hunting for boar. And I guess you could say eventually learning how to hunt for artifacts. I just decided, again, let's wing it. Now, I had no clue what I was doing, but as I neared the site, I started looking around, and I had a bolt in my hand, I said, what do I do with this? Why do I need this? But the ground started shaking, and I started thinking to myself, this thing is beeping, what have I gotten myself into, and why have I chosen to do this in the first place? Oh, and one note, don't pick up the anomalous bread over there because you'll wonder why you're irradiated all the time. I worked my way over to great swamps and picked up several jobs from numerous NPCs, which also happened to include Mr. Cold himself. Now again, I have to say that I didn't know what I was getting into. I just picked up missions, quests, and I thought, hey, I'll be on my way. But I had to see Spore first and see what he needed and maybe pick up one or two pieces of gear that might help me along the way. And then I set out. But what I thought would be a cakewalk early on. Now, from discovering electro anomalies and escorting and protecting the ecologist, I always wondered what might pop up. What's going to jump out of the ground? What's going to come out from the sky? Are there ghosts? Or am I just shooting at other people? But I roll my head up while I'm waiting for this guy to finish doing what he's doing. And it looks like we're finally close to done. But I keep wandering and wondering. And do you need to pee or something? Just enjoy the fire, dude. Now, I light up a fire not knowing. Full on that, hey, it's kind of cold, let's light this up, and I end up setting myself ablaze at the same time, but just as in real life, it is what it is, oh wait, is there something in here, huh, go figure. Now, we're fast traveling without knowing repercussions of it will prove to be somewhat detrimental. So I chug some vodka, and then I light up a smoke to get my head straight. Because who knew, fast traveling at night would take its toll. Now, I was appalled at the gear drops early on. 
and I decided I would tinker with the drop condition settings until I was somewhat content. Not knowing what type of ammo each faction would have at the start would be tedious, so I had to be mindful of the weapons I was choosing this early on in the game as well. Now, looking through these loadouts, it led me to believe that, you know, for advanced player or gun nut, as it's been said, that Merc, Ecologist, and Monolith are the best equipped early on. But that's if you can handle and if you know the game well, which, to be fair, I don't. But I did manage to solo through this entire village to rid it of renegades for one of the early missions and I ended up with 22 renegade patches in my inventory but I digress I did not find basic tools nor did I know where to even find them now we took on the ecologist you know gathered a, a team which essentially was just a guided mission and we cleared out the the pump station and it was glorious I've tried to solo this many times and well let's say it just didn't go well now I proceeded to Corden and I found this young lady or stalker hip and I picked up a mission that I knew was going to be far too soon and too early So I could see and try and muster up some cash and bank, but I still never quite learned to be mindful of my surroundings as I was, you know, staring at helicopters, sky, grass, trees. But I had a feeling that this was a bit too much. But looking at some of the drops that I got from Corden during a military attack, I ended up with some decent stuff. But at this point, I was just about hooked. Now that weapon we picked up, the Howard Type 20, it would need some parts, it would need some fixing, but I had no idea where to find another one or find the parts, let alone the ammo to be able to use it but this variable zoom scope was all it took on top of this rocking looking weapon and as one thing leads to another I was already hooked so we proceed to take more missions from Sidorvich and we rescue a courier and I did manage to pick up some, you know, bandit patches along the way. And as we fight through, we take on some zombies here, or zombified. But the problem is, <laughs> and never do you know when they're going to return to life. But I was all about looting, finding money, hands, weapons. But I always stopped to never pay attention and look at the choppers, the weather, and so on. And again, be mindful. In this game, you walk, don't run. I was still eager. I saw three bandits walking down, and I decided, hey, maybe I can take them out. Maybe I can get a lot of loot, some more patches, finish another quest line for Sidorovich. Hiding behind a tree, like a stalker would, in the brush. But being as eager as I was to loot and sell and make money, get materials, I still never learned to mind my surroundings but I was still hooked but we head down to Great Swamps pull up the PDA after 
grabbing some more quests from you know, different NPCs. I choose my point. But I was not prepared. I didn't reload my magazines or anything. And again, be eager. Guess what? This happened. Again. So we proceed out here for a mission cold assigned to us, and it was to take out the night terror. That thing climbed up and jumped down. But I quickly realized again that trying to do this solo, I need a team. There was no way I was taking that down alone. So I grabbed a few guys, lit up a smoke, and engaged. We finally, at one point or another, took it down. Now from gear drops and nerve wracking engagements, I was now, and again, hooked as a stalker. I'll see you all in the zone. Now get out of here, stalker. <laughs>